Why? Oh. <laughs> So a grasshopper walks into a bar, right? <laughs> That's all good grasshoppers do. And uh, the bartender says, hey, I got a drink named after you. The grasshopper looks around and he's like, what? <laughs> drink named Kevin? <laughs> 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 So I'm actually surprised they allowed me to do this by myself. I thought I'd have to adhere to the whole buddy system thing, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of rules at this camp. Uh, got a lot that I like. One of the rules, curfew, 9.30, right? Because all of the drug dealers and the problems in Northfield, Minnesota come out at 9.30. It's like, oh my god, come out on the streets. I'm like, oh, it's drug dealing time, right? They have a synchronized watch to the, the, the clock in Denver, right? <laughs> Another one. Dinner at 5.30. Does anyone eat at 5.30 at home? Please, don't raise your hand. <laughs> Decreases the validity of my point, right? It's not like I have to go home and eat at uh, the early bird special at Denny's, okay? Just keep on schedule. I'm dipping into my social security just by eating at 5.30. <laughs> A minor thing, but theater etiquette. Do we have to have a lecture over that? Come on, guys. We're 17 years old. Don't run around with your shirt off. Just sit down and be quiet. Come on. Whatever. Anyways. I did this after each joke. Screw it. Who here is flying home after this camp? Awesome. I am too. For those of you who are driving, God bless you. So, um, just because we're talking about the genders and the Social-cultural attention and stuff. I thought it'd be funny to um, to recognize the differences between female and male stewardess on a flight. Has anyone noticed a difference? No one. Awesome. I saw the revolution right here. So, female stewardess, right? They're always like smiling. Okay, you think you can hug them? They always have like a scarf. Probably looking better than this. They have it around their necks, right? They just they have everything planned out. Okay, they have like. All of the equipment, the life jacket, the seatbelt, like everything lined up with sticky notes and times, intervals, and how long to hold everything. And you just love them. And they make you feel comfortable. Male stewardess. No. <laughs> the male stewardess, they walk up there, you know, they hope they have food staining on there like you suit. Uh, they, their fly is probably undone. They look a little drunk, okay? They have no idea what they're doing, okay? Captain's talking about the seatbelt for holding up the life jacket. <laughs> no! They're a little too distracted by the girl sitting in 32D. <laughs> the captain's talking about what to do in the case of an emergency. They hold up a picture of an atomic bomb. No one knows what they're doing. And no one pays attention. That's the beautiful thing. No one! Even the dude who's about flying and he's thinking about all the safety precautions. He's just sitting in the back rows, so like rocking. Superman's gonna save me. Superman's gonna save me, right? It's fun to mess with that guy. You walk in, you know exactly who he is. He's sucking his thumb in the back row. You sit behind him, right? Like the very, very back row, and you just just get very quiet. You pull out your cell phone. You talk from like Gary Porton and whatnot, but you're not. And you say, Oh my god! Oh my god! Like, no, I'm just talking about the, the curfew requirements of the summer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank Nobody's you. listening. Nobody, except for the uh, the flyers. If uh, if Deborah was a student, you know, they would they would not just be listening. They would be crying. <laughs> You have the life jacket. Some of you will get the credits to this life jacket. <laughs> Some of you will not. <laughs> there is one person listening, and that's the smoker. He's always listening. He's about to light up. Right when they say this is a non-smoking flight, you're like, damn it, you punch the child. <laughs> that's all people do. I always say, uh, I always say, 
yeah, uh, this is a non-smoking flight. Please don't mess with the, the lavatories, you know. And then, but I love the opinion. It's okay to have a dirty lavatory. Just don't mess with my wings. You never hear about the warnings, don't mess with the wings. It's like $300 bajillion to mess with the lavatory, but no one cares about the wings. Next time I fly, I'm going to sit on the damn wings. I'm going to crash. Like, no one talks about it. It's sad. They always say, uh, it's a non-smoking flight. Like, this is just a reminder that this is a non-smoking flight. Like, just a reminder. Who here was alive when they allowed smoking on the flight? Who flew on a flight that they allowed smoking on? Staff, please don't raise your hands. <laughs> no one, awesome. Like, they might as well say, this is a non-slavery flight? <laughs> You're not allowed to own slaves. <laughs> you frowned upon that since the last lawsuit. <laughs> Also, the captain will like us to remind you that the Earth goes around the sun and not the other way. Those of you who are flying home, good luck, good night.